Uh, my name is Mike Rose. I work for uh, Polar Tech and head up the product development team here. Um, we are visiting uh, the ISPO show uh, and debuting our uh, Polar Tech Power Air new product. Uh, the product was uh, designed and developed uh, as an answer uh, for sustainability in the area of microfiber shedding or microplastics uh, shedding. Um, Polar Tech traditionally has made fabrics, uh, you know, a wide range of fabrics, uh, fleece materials, and uh, there's been some concern about, you know, shedding of various brushed, fleeced, fuzzy fabrics and losing microfibers. Uh, Polar Tech has attacked this problem with the design of this new product. Uh, there's less uh, mechanical action on the fabric when we manufacture it. The construction, um, the uniqueness of the construction is that we have uh, put together this fabric. Uh, it's a knitted construction and we've designed it in such a way that it traps the air in the fabric to help provide insulation. In a normal uh, brushed fabric, the air is entrapped between the fibers that you can see on the surface of the fabric. In Power Air, we have created in such a way that the there's air space, there's voids within the material, it's in trapped air, and this provides the insulation of the fabric. Um, very unique construction, um, it's uh, very comfortable to wear, it has um, an interesting look to it. Uh, one side is a smooth surface, looks very normal, the other side has this uh, bubble look to it, and uh, which was part of the inspiration of the fabric actually and the design was to create a product that had uh, sort of a, a bubble wrap look to it. The idea is, you know, plastic bubble wrap has air and trapped inside and makes an insulation product. So we use that as like a, a, you know, stimulation for the project, you know, as a visual like, okay, how can we make a fabric that kind of has those attributes to it. So, um, so that's what we've created. Um, one of the other things that we had to do in you know, making this fabric was to show that there was reduced uh, microfiber shedding. And um, we did that through uh, creation of a test that we could do in the laboratory that would simulate washing in a laundry machine, uh, like a typical home laundering or commercial laundering that you would do. But we had to do that in a way that we could accelerate and, and put, it, put it through a test that was much more rigorous. And uh, so Polar Tech created a test to help us identify microfiber shedding. We benchmarked, a, a benchmark, um, against traditional fleece type fabrics. And then we tested our new product, the Power Air, and we found that we had a you know, five times reduction in microfiber shedding off of this fabric. We did many, many tests over time just to be sure that our results were significant and that we could, you know, go to the public and say that, you know, this is truly, you know, a breakthrough. And um, so we have satisfied that. We've shared the test with, uh, with some of our customers and some of the uh, third party testing organizations and had validation there. So we feel very good about what we, what we have uh, uh, developed here with this Power Air fabric. We have this particular one. Uh, recently, we've had um, you know some early adopters of the fabric, uh, Houdini. This is a garment that they made. It's a hoodie, um, and um, this has just just gone into the market. So we've had very good response in terms of the the comfort, uh, the wearability. Um, and the other thing that we've done is to be sure that we're putting a garment out there with new technology that's uh, very um, robust construction. We've done extensive testing and the, and the garment has exceptional wear characteristics. So um, very pleased with what we have to offer in terms of this technology. And um, we've developed this platform at Polar Tech and we'll be continuing to add new, new products to it. When I say we developed a platform, so we basically, this is the, the entry level of the uh, fabric that we're putting in the platform. So there will be other fabrics that we'll add to the Power Air line. 
and other fabrics that we focus on reducing microfiber shedding. We began working uh, on this uh, more than two years ago, three years ago really, the concern. Uh, some of our customers expressed concern uh, about you know, microplastics and microfiber shedding. Um, we did some groundwork on it to really study it and understand whether it was a real problem or not and what were the largest contributors uh, to microfiber shedding or microplastic uh, in the environment. Um, the textile fibers are not the greatest source of the microfibers uh, in the environment, but it is a significant source and is something our customers felt like we needed to address. And Polar Tech, from a sustainability standpoint, felt like we needed to address it and offer our customers an alternative to the conventional fabrics. So. Yeah. What's up dear YouTube family, good to see you back in front of the screen and thank you for watching another one of my Ispok Gear News videos. This was video 20 something and there's still coming more. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, leave the thumbs up because it really makes a difference. Also make sure to subscribe and not miss out on any future videos and as I have said previously, I have a Patreon campaign running which allows me to make more videos and if you enjoy my content it really would mean a lot if you hop over to Patreon and support me for as little as a cup of coffee per month. There's cool rewards like hanging out and chatting with me on a Discord server, a 25% discount for trail food and many other fun things. As always, thanks for watching and remember it's always worth to go outside.